Ooh, almost to camp. This is uh, archery elk hunt, 2022. And uh, we're here in Wyoming. It's been a long day already. Got up at three, drove across the state of Idaho, across the state of Wyoming, and uh, been hiking a ways. Got my help here, uh, here in the back. We've got eight days to hunt elk. Uh, goal for today is just to get camp set up and uh, get to bed early. Hopefully stay up till dark, go up to a ridge, plus but excited. This is uh, this gonna be a fun time. This is a gorgeous spot out here. It's really good elk country. And uh, so far we've seen a couple elk, uh, pronghorn and some bear tracks. So lots of wildlife going on around here. What do you say? Ready? She's ready. You look at that right there. That's what you want to see. 500 yards below is the place where you're going to camp. Thing is just torn up. Pop it off. We just heard our first bugle, which literally might be right where we're going to camp. So this is just a little wild. We're here setting up camp and probably got an hour and a half left of daylight and the elk have just started to go bananas like all around us, below us, above us. We haven't even gotten any of our stuff sorted out at all, gotten water or anything, but there's a bull. He can't be 200 yards away from us up on the hill, uh, just right above us out here. So we're gonna grab our stuff and go see if we can sneak in on him. He's bugled a number of times, but it was further away, and now he's kind of closer to us. So I grab our stuff and see if we can't go find him. There's a bull right above us right now. Let's see if we can get him in here.
All right, that, that setup on that elk did not work. I'm not sure what happened, but I'm pretty sure it smelled us. Um, and I don't know what happened. It felt like there were bulls bugling everywhere and all of a sudden it just like stopped. Um, so rather than go chase elk, um, our first night here, um, I got uh, my, my boy BK with me here. I'm helping out with the camera. Can't see him right now. Um, but we decided to go get water, get the llamas situated, get our food and everything situated so we can get out of here bright and early tomorrow. So got a nice little meadow kind of camped in here. It's, uh, I call this a pocket meadow, not a real big one, but uh, it's nice enough. We're near a real main ridge, kind of right up above us, which is where we're gonna go tomorrow. We're gonna be hitting that ridge and trying to hunt down the backside tomorrow. Um, got a water source kind of a marginal water source but we got a water source up high good access to lots of country we're in like primo spot to uh have some uh opportunities hopefully so tomorrow's the real deal tomorrow we're actually gonna go hunt um i can't believe how close that bull came but tomorrow we're gonna do it so we'll see you tomorrow Sounds real mean, kind of off in the distance. That's a different bull. There's quite a few bulls bugling right now. It's awesome. Nobody's real fired up just yet, but they're they're sounding off. So I'm gonna get my stuff. We're gonna drop down. Try and get the. We need to get the wind right. <coughs> This is a nasty slope, so I gotta drop down, get the wind right, and then come in sideways. Holy shit, that's a big boy. Let's see if I can see him with my eyes. It's super smoggy out this morning. Like, really hard to see. Good sign, there's elk bugling.
out. I never saw him. But now he seems to be like just a hustle in it, and there's no way we're going to catch him. There's a lot of other bulls in here, so I want to find somebody who wants to play ball. Dropped all the way down this drainage this morning. Now it's 2 30 in the afternoon. We gotta climb a bus all the way back up. That's hot. Real hot. Not the kind of thing you want to be doing in the middle of the day, but that's where we're going. sound off and then not talk again. Nobody's like super fired up. It's more like just letting you know I'm here kind of bugles. That's pretty close. That's, that's, it doesn't sound like I want to come fight you bugle. It was fun, but unfortunate because I couldn't get a shot. <clears throat> He's a nice bull, not a monster, but I would have shot him. He couldn't have been more than five to ten yards from us at one point, but he came. <clears throat> I thought he'd come below me. He came up and around us. Classic elk move. But called it a bull. That's fun. late afternoon we're just taking a little bit of a break here in the shade trying to get out of the sun so it's kind of hot out there in the sun everything else is bedded down right now anyway too so it's been a good day so far had some good action feeling really good about our chances of making something happen here hopefully this action keeps up I feel like Every time I've, I've had days that are pretty close to this good, maybe not quite this good, but pretty close. But it doesn't seem like it lasts. It's like it's on, and then you never know what's going to happen the next day. So you got to try and take advantage of it while it lasts. The other thing I noticed is 
and none of the bulls that I'm seeing have herds yet. They don't have any cows. And we've been just cow calling them in. It's been working. At least today it's been working. Which is really nice not to have to compete with a bull that has, you know, five, seven, ten, twelve cows with him. I try and pull him off his cows. So anyways, time for a nap, boots off, let the feet cool off. And we'll get back out of here in about an hour. It's hotter than hell out of here. Sounds a bugle. First bugle of the afternoon slash evening. I'm gonna go get the wind right, but love to hear it. I know decided to go that way with his cows. <clears throat> Did not want to play with us. Now we just keep going up, which it feels like that's what we always do. Up or down. So far, the hunting has been pretty dang good. Guys, like 45 minutes ago, and now it's like fog clouds are rolling in. Just trying to get a lay of the land here. There's a lot of help you would figure out kind of generally where they're at so I can, we can start sneaking down.
coming fast. We were chasing them, going after a bull that was below us. I ripped the bugle. Not very far away, a bull responds. You go again, and all of a sudden he starts coming. Did not expect that. Take it, man. Rag horns fill freezers, right? Love it. Love it. <clears throat> Good shot. Quick death. It's a perfect shot, man. Right behind the shoulder. That's what you like to see. <sighs> man, grateful. Grateful. Buddy. That happened so fast, dude. Crazy shit happens during the rut. Some really difficult butchering situation here. He's like fully underneath this log. So this is gonna be fun. This is gonna take a while. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and tie his head off up there and then try and like at least drag his body out a little bit. It's gonna be real, real fun here. But what are you gonna do? Just gotta deal with it.
you missed it, but we had a llama rodeo. Two llamas went tumbling down the mountain full of elk. And then we had to carry it out. Shockingly, no dead llamas. But we do have a broken llama saddle. So be careful when you're working with stock. Stuff like this can happen. But now we're loaded up. We got the oh, one uh, pack blanket kind of patch together paracord. Now we're gonna shuttle meat down the mountain. Thank you.